Oh, it's beautiful today. I got a, I got one that's out of my element here. I don't, I don't do a lot of these cars, but I've done them before. Uh, this one's, uh, it pulled up and it sounded pretty rowdy, so I'm pretty excited to tune this one. Uh, it's a 06 Mustang GT, five speed. It's got a big old blower on it and stuff. Oh, it's got hood pins. I don't, I don't feel like messing with that. Yeah, I'm not messing with that. Okay, I'm not gonna pop the head. It's got meats out back. All that stuff, so it um, it whined really good when he was he pulled up. So uh, yeah, I think this thing's gonna be pretty pretty wild. He said it was on like 15 pounds. <laughs> cool, that's <laughs> my, my style. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, read the tune that's on it. I think it's got an SCT tune on it, which is not really a big deal. I'm going around that anyway. And then uh. It's only 85. I smelt it when he pulled up, so I'm not sure how it's done in the tune. I'm just gonna have to look and see. And then uh, we will go dial this thing in. I'm sure it's just some canned tune. I gotta find the freaking plug in for this thing. Anyway, let me get this thing plugged in, uh, reading. I'll go for a ride. I'll do all the usual YouTube stuff. Yeah, I got it reading. Decided to pop the hood. Yeah, it's a F1 Pro Charger. Yeah. This thing is loud. <laughs> like just idling. I got it reading right now, so. Is that like an intercooler pump or something I hear? Here's something. Fuel pump, maybe. Probably fuel pump. Yeah, fuel pump. Let's see if this is on. It was built by a local company and they sold like all their stuff to another local company. They did pretty good work from what I saw on, on Facebook and stuff. Um, but uh, I guess I got overwhelmed with the guy and he just sold it, so hey, you know what happens. Anyway, this thing's pretty pretty cool. I, I kind of dig the paint on it. It kind of like flops colors and stuff. It's got a lot of pearl and stuff in it. Really pretty color. I dig it. I like the stuff. It looks like I just got done reading, so. Let me, uh, what does it say? Rebound King. <laughs> the underdog. All right, let me, uh, let me see what's all done to this thing. And then, uh, let's get the tuning on it. All right, I got her, got her flashing. I don't know, it, it's like when you start it up, it's got like a really high idle. Um, I'm gonna try to address that. Uh, it's got a bunch of different stuff. This was an auto car initially and he manual swapped it. So I gotta go in there and uh, see what all the differences is. I got a, I got a manual, um, a stock one from HP tuners, uh, a manual tune I can compare it with. So, um, I'm thinking that the pro charger is probably going to affect that quite a bit too. Um, I know, uh, some of the LS stuff it does as well. So, um, I'm going to have to go in there and mess with it a little bit. Um, it's already tuned for E85. I don't know how well though, uh, HP Tuners has a couple of different parameters in it than um, SET, so you can tell it's, it was on SET. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to set up a histogram for it and stuff. Uh, I think I have a three-valve one already. I've done a couple of these cars, um, but uh, I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I'm going to leave the neighborhood. It's this thing is loud. Uh, I'm going to go set it up in a parking lot and then uh, just adjust the idle and stuff right there in the parking lot, and then uh, we'll go drive it around. All right, I've been uh, I've been sitting here for about ooh, 30, 45 minutes somewhere, just trying to get it to get out of like uh, ETC FM EM mode, which is like Ford's lit mode. Um, I have no clue why it did it. I didn't really change a lot in the tune, um, so I went ahead and just went right back to the ass found, and it fixed it. I, no clue probably some torque table or something there's no telling <laughs> so i'm gonna leave it alone on the torque table stuff um i turned off some stuff and then uh it's flashing right now i'm gonna make sure it doesn't go back into limp mode 
and then we're gonna go make a pull and then I'm gonna see what it looks like because I tried to make a pull earlier and I was like this thing's like kind of a turd well it was in limb mode well, it's gonna be a turd so um yeah that's it's finished let's see if it'll uh, go into limp mode again let's see here come on Not in the lit mode. And I think I got the, somebody had turned the, the factory O2s off. Uh, I turned them back on. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why they did that. Uh, there's no telling, man. And wide band needs to start working, there we go. did not like that I'm gonna go back to the stock settings on the O2s it was trying to pull way too much fuel or no add I'm sorry it was trying to add way too much fuel and right now it's trying to pull fuel there it goes it's evening it out things kind of strange maybe that's why they maybe they might have had a, an O2 problem or something it's not a big deal for me to tune in an open loop but if I can use the stock O2 sensors I will let me get this thing straightened up. Well, this whole car runs pretty hard. <laughs> it's, it's, it's spicy. Like this sucker runs hard. First and second, it's not a. It doesn't seem like it's a three valve. <laughs> like it, it runs good. It's only like ten pounds, so that's as most as I've seen with it. So these pro chargers are kind of RPM based. So it, I'm looking at the log right now, and it's it scoots really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it a little bit. Uh, it looks like it can use some timing too. So it's not running much timing at all so it's a super super safe tune but we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and adjust this it's a little fat too so i'm gonna lean it up uh we'll get this thing really scooting down the road i'm very much impressed with a supercharged uh, three valve <laughs> look it runs pretty good for 10 pounds it's not too shabby but uh, I'll, I'll see if i can get a pull with just one hand I, I don't have my suction cup mount i just got my little regular mount there so I'll see if I can get a pull with the uh, with it like that. Everything else, it seems like it does pretty good. Um, it throttle hangs a little bit. And I'm gonna try to fix that. I think it's just an airflow issue. Uh, other than that, it it runs okay. It's not bad. Uh, it drives pretty good. It, like you can breathe on the pedal and it just wants to go. So um, I'm gonna try to make some make it drive a little bit better and then um, not throttle hang and then just some bottom throttle stuff. So uh, I'm lowering the idle quite a bit. Uh, I went down like 75 RPM. So it was it was idling pretty high and I knew it. Uh, I think it's got like 150 pound an hour injectors. Like it's, it's got some stuff on it. So it's, it runs good, but I'm just getting rid of that flare. So it's a lot better now. Comes down real good. Got that going. Cleaned up the air, uh, AFR. 
Um, but yeah, it's idling pretty good. I got it, I got it dialed in pretty good. And I'm trying to get it to not hang like going down the road. So that's kind of been a challenge right now. So. I just went down like two grams a second on the idle. So it, uh, that's a lot better. Wow, that was a big difference actually. I'm not sure who tuned this last at all. And like I said, they didn't do it too bad of a job. Hell, the timing was damn near spot on. I had it two degrees since it's on, I mean, it's only 85. So and it's only on 10 pounds too, but this thing's moving a lot of air, <laughs> like a lot. And that, I think that blow off valve or whatever they have, it's like, it sticks open, so it just makes a ton of noise. <laughs> Going around the bendy here and get back on the main road. This thing is loud. I think the blower is louder than the exhaust. <laughs> coming up to a stop sign. Nope. Ah, perfect idle. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. My, uh, dongle fell out. Let me ever get that. I got kind of in a weird spot. It's like right here by your left leg. There we go. Okay. Plug back in. Oh, yeah. That's a lot better. Geez. Yeah, it was like, it was hanging really bad. And this, man, this transmission is naughty. opens up and it's like pressure <laughs> so, wow man it's it, man that that woke it up quite a bit jeez man that was man that was pretty good just those two degrees it i leaned it up quite a bit too like it was stupid rich when i got it it was like a a 10 one air fuel so i got it in the mid 11th right now so it's it's pretty good um the only bad thing about tuning e85 and like no sensor is like it's um it's inconsistent around here so i think it's okay right now um he would probably have to adjust it like when it comes to the winter blend because it's it's getting to that point right now i think right now it's at 70 or something or 75 it's not great great but it's it's better than 50 i guess Anyway, I'm going to head to the house. Contact the customer. Tell them it's good to go. See you guys in the next one.